study about Find It on Wikipedia. It's a radio show and how it became to be and how the project developed. Let's hear it from Chris. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you. Uh, so, like uh, Rupika had said, I'm Chris Schilling. I'm from the Wikimedia Foundation. I work in our community resources d uh, team, um, doing work in grants and providing resources to our community. And I'm here to present the work that uh, Uzoma from uh, Nigeria did, producing and uh, preparing a radio show uh, in Abuja to increase awareness and readership uh, on Wikipedia. So I want to talk a little bit about um, not just the project itself, but sort of her motivation for it and her team's motivation for it, uh, how the project went, its outcomes, and also what she is doing next. So let's get started. First, uh, I just want to start by introducing the team who put this work together and made this project possible. So starting from the left and working our way to the right, we have Mahogany, we have Tochi, we have Uzoma, Ken and Blossom. Um, so um, Uzoma and Uzoma in the middle and Blossom and Tochi are part of the Ebo Wikimedians user group. They are the ones who developed and came up with this idea, Uzoma leading it, uh, being the main grantee. And Ken on the right and Mahogany on the far left are the uh, radio show hosts of Good Morning Nigeria, uh, uh, good, uh, sorry, Good Morning Abuja on a cool 96.9 FM in, uh, in Abuja. So I just wanted to give the, uh, the cast here, as it were. So what is the motivation for this project? Radio continues to be a really powerful media influence in the world. Um, according to the UN, um, there are uh, an estimated about 44,000 radio stations operating in the world, and uh, they broadcast to about seven, I'm sorry, about five billion people, which is about 70% of the population worldwide. Uh, so radio continues to this day to have a, an oppressive and powerful reach to, uh, to listeners around the world. And just to give you a sense of what that reach looks like across the map, in terms of percentage uh, based on weekly radio reach, we see percentages of reaching the population around 80, 90% in most regions of the world. Um, so based on these outreach, um, uh, this outreach potential, um, Uzoma and her team thought of a number of ideas about how we could harness the radio to be able to reach an audience and to teach them about um, not just what Wikipedia is about, but how to use it, how to engage with it, and even how to contribute to it as well. So a couple of ideas that she and her team came up with include things like game shows, where listeners answer questions about Wikipedia articles, uh, including jingles or catchy themes that might catch people's attention and kind of stick in their memory about what our projects are, um, what our project's significance is. Uh, and also including reading sessions to highlight or otherwise um, call attention to a specific Wikipedia article that might be of, uh, of interest to their community. So what happened based on uh, this idea generation was that uh, I was running an Inspire campaign to bring in ideas on how to introduce new readers to Wikipedia at the time. And Ozoma and her team submitted an idea for a radio show uh, to this Inspire campaign. Um, it got developed throughout the course of that campaign, which was about a month long back in 2018. And uh, eventually, Uzoma proposed that idea for a rapid grant, through, uh, through, which is one of the grant programs that we maintain at the Wikimedia Foundation. So what is this idea about? Well, first, let me talk about who the audience is that they wanted to reach. Um, so in this case study, uh, Find It on Wikipedia, they wanted to reach to radio listeners in Abuja, Nigeria, using uh, this radio show, um, Cool 96.9 FM in Abuja. Uh, they also knew that listeners of this radio station and in radio stations in general often are engaging with radio hosts or shows that they enjoy listening to through social media, such as through Twitter or WhatsApp. Uh, and they also know that listeners and in general the, uh, the radio listening population, when they are looking for information, they're generally doing so in English. And so they wanted to use English Wikipedia as a test case. Uh, to really bring people's attention to, to Wikipedia in this circumstance. Um, so what was their idea? In this case, they thought they wanted to go more with a contest where they would ask uh, listeners trivia questions about content that you could find on the main page of Wikipedia. So if you're familiar with the main page, 
there are sections of that page that include things like, did you know, or in the news. And what they thought was, let's try to use articles from these, uh, from these sections to call attention to interesting facts or tidbits from these articles so that we encourage people to not just go to the main page, but to go into these articles, to look at them, to read them, and then maybe they'll find something else interesting after uh, engaging with our contest. And this, in this way, they'll introduce folks to what Wikipedia is about in some sense. Uh, in addition to that, after asking the trivia questions in the radio show, listeners would search through that article and send in their answers to um, uh, using social media to the radio show. And then the fastest fingers would earn a prize for, fo for folks who were quick uh, on their phones. The, so how did they make this happen? They had the idea, they have the contest. How did they actually make it happen? So they had uh, a connection with uh, these two radio hosts and the producer of uh, Good Morning Nigeria uh, on 96.9 FM. Uh, and so they worked with their, that team to develop this weekly radio segment. Uh, they invited participation to the program using uh, their own social media, uh, the Ebo Wikimedians user group, in addition to the social media um, platform that the radio station uh, had access to. Uh, so they were able to engage lots of different audiences uh, in this way. And their main goals in this project were to encourage listeners to engage with Wikipedia generally and to increase readership. So now I want to just show a brief clip of uh, what this show sounded like for folks who were listening at the time when it was airing last year. Find it on Wikipedia, Monday at 7.30 a.m., only on the Good Morning Nigeria show on 96.9 Cool FM. Oh, yeah, it's the brand new show, one of the coolest breakfast show in the whole world. The Good Morning Nigeria show breaks you. Find it on Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Mahogany. And my name is Ken. 7.31 a.m., 30th April, 2018. We're so excited to bring to you this new, exciting, brand new show. It's all about finding it on Wikipedia. So real quickly, whether you're near your laptop or near your phone, go down to double www.wikipedia.org and search on that page and make yourself a little bit acquainted because I'm going to be asking you two simple questions from that page. Either on your laptop, you can find it on your laptop or on your mobile phone. We're going to ask you question A and question B. And once you get both of them correctly and not either or, you got to get two of them correctly. Yeah. Yes. And if you get it correctly, you stand a chance to win yourself. 15,000 naira voucher to go shop, shop, shop till you drop. Hi. Now, let's, let's throw out the numbers for those who say, oh, you're not fast, we're too fast or too slow. 080 999 20275. That's the WhatsApp number. 080 999 20275. Or you can. T so that just gives you an idea of what the show sounded like and how to, you know. I think Uzama did a great job of selecting really great radio hosts to really bring in attention, to get people excited about exploring Wikipedia and to participate in these contests that they ran over, uh, over a six-week period. So what were their outcomes? So they, ran, they actually planned to run four radio shows, but they were able to run a whole six radio shows over, over about a two-and-a-half-month period uh, between April and mid-June uh, last year. Interestingly, uh, they selected a radio show that has a, quite an impressive uh, reach of listeners in Nigeria in general. So the radio station has about an 8% radio share, meaning uh, listenership, over in, uh, over in Nigeria. So conservatively, an estimate of how many listeners that they actually reached was probably in the range of about 30 to 40,000 listeners, just in Abuja alone. And they also have internet radio as well for this station. So it's likely that that reach was much further. And then over social media, in terms of responses to the uh, contest, pr contest that they ran, they had over 230 individual responses or unique responses over social media to their, to their contest. And when they did have a winner who came in, uh, or did, when, they, when, they, um, when there were winners, the winners were asked to come in to pick, in their, to pick up their prize. So they captured their photo and a little bit of information about them, about the winners as well. So they have these posted on the project page of their grants for those who want to see and learn a little bit about the winners uh, of Find It on Wikipedia.
So what is next? Ozoma is very keen to grow this program. She was very excited by the amount of reach and the amount of participation and enthusiasm around Find It on Wikipedia, and she would like to be able to uh, grow a network of radio shows focused on contests or other content on Wikipedia uh, or other Wikimedia projects. And so uh, if starting a radio show is something that you or if you know someone in the movement who is involved with radio uh, or would like to bring someone into the movement who is involved with radio to produce such a show, uh, please reach out to uh, Uzoma using uh, this page here. It's a new, pro a new idea on Idealab called the Finding on Wikipedia Contest, where her goal is to grow a network of radio programs uh, in, order to, uh, to, in order to spread out this impact and to share what she has learned about working with, uh, uh, with Cool 95.7 uh, cool uh, FM in Abuja with others in the movement who might also want to uh, do outreach to new readers uh, using radio as a medium. Uh, and thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you have questions, please feel free to either contact myself or Uzoma uh, if you have questions about how to produce a radio show in your local context. Uh, we're more than happy to share what we've learned uh, throughout uh, our experience running the programs. Um, and then just as a fun bit, um, I, uh, I used to be a radio DJ back when I was in university, so I just included a small picture here of me producing radio circa 2007. <laughs> Thanks very much. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to share? Or? Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Chris. It was very interesting, and I hope audience is having fun. And now I would like to invite on stage Biplap Anand from Nepal. He would share street campaigns they did in Nepal, billboard campaign and rickshaw campaign. They have been very innovative ideas flowing around and I would like to invite Piplap Anand. Let's give it on, uh, let's give hand to Piplap Anand, yay. You want to connect yours? Yeah. Okay, here you go. But I think it won't work. Can you do it here? Whatever you're doing here. Can you do it here? Like open it here? I don't know how this connection works. Okay, he's coming. Okay, but he did it. Open them after it, you know. Okay. Okay, here you go. So I want to introduce uh, a project that we have done in Maithili Wikipedia and Nepali Wikipedia this year. Uh, the campaign was introducing Wikipedia to new readers. Because in a country like us, uh, there are, uh, you know, we have to reach out to more people to know about what is Wikipedia and what Wikipedia uh, is all about. So we introduced uh, uh, a campaign to introduce Wikipedia to the people. Uh, so we started this campaign uh, in a small city of Nepal. Uh, it's Rajviras, and we uh, we took Maithili Wikipedia uh, to them. So we did a rickshaw campaign to know people uh, about Wikipedia. Because Riksa is one of the famous uh, transportation, uh, uh, so we did it, uh, Riksa campaign, to reach out to more people about Wikipedia. So you can see in the uh, readers, you know, in Maithili Wikipedia, before the, uh, before the campaign, and uh, this is the start after the campaign. So, so we saw the incre increment uh, uh, in readers uh, after the campaign. Or we didn't have uh, so many readers, but after the campaign, we have readers because people go and at least uh, browse what is Wikipedia, 
uh, what is Maithili Wikipedia, what is, uh, because the language of Rajviraj is Maithili, so people go curiously and search that, what is Wikipedia, and what is Maithili Wikipedia. And this time, we have done another project, uh, which is led by Tulsi Bhagat, one of our community members. Uh, he done wiki awareness campaign in Nepal. He is actually living in Janakpur, and he did this project in both Maithili Wikipedia and Nepali Wikipedia to improve the recognition of Wikipedia. Uh, so I want to share some pictures. So here it is. We fixed the billboard at the main center of the city so people can know uh, about Wikipedia. So at least people can watch once in a day what is Wikipedia and we, uh, we describe what is Wikipedia in that board so people can easily know about Wikipedia and, and, uh, and it can be searchable for them. Thank you. Thank you so much, Piplup. That was very inspiring. And now I would like to invite on stage Mark Mikhail. He will talk a very interesting case study about increasing Wikimedia's readership. Uh, welcome, everyone. Yeah. Okay, Have a big watching. round of applause. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I would like to connect my laptop. Okay. Possible? Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm, I'm going to have this uh, line in talk uh, to talk about readership and local content. Actually, I, I want to convince you that local content is um, a safe bet if uh, we want to increase uh, a Wikipedia language edition readership. Um, that is, if we want to increase the number of, of pay, page views. So what is local content? We, we, talk as local con we talk about local content as everything related to the place where the Wikipedia language is spoken, officially or, or by natives. Um, local content is a, is a term that is very much used. Uh, I also use cultural context content uh, in my research. Uh, I'll, perhaps I use both. So, uh, my project is, uh, is named Cultural Diversity Observatory. It's a project uh, about uh, creating a space where to work on language gaps, on uh, actually cultural context uh, gaps. But I will not talk about gaps. I will talk about uh, local content, just local content. So uh, what I do is to collect a data set for every language edition, uh, which I name uh, cultural context content. And, and this data set is, uh, includes uh, places, uh, people, traditions, language, all sort of uh, articles about, uh, with, a one relation, with a relationship with the context. Sometimes uh, and there is a clear mapping between, uh, let's say, the place where it is spoken, like Iceland, uh, and a single place uh, and, and the language. And sometimes uh, the mapping is a bit more complicated. 
and uh, languages are spoken in several territories, like the case of uh, Italian in Italy and in Switzerland, or even in, uh, let's say, more uh, spread languages like English, Arabic, etc. So in order to do this, I use several features, geolocation, category graph, uh, keywords, uh, we get the properties, and I put it in a machine learning process to finally uh, obtain this local content uh, selection, the cultural context content. So, and what is the extent of local content in Wikipedia? It really depends on the language. But among the first uh, 40 languages in terms of number of articles, it's a quarter. A quarter of each Wikipedia is about themselves. Their territory, places, people, uh, traditions, etc. Uh, in some languages like English, it's 44%, Japanese 60%, and in some others, um, it's much slower, much smaller, like Catalan is 17%, uh, Swedish is, is 15%. Uh, it really depends on the language. But this local content tends to be much more developed, uh, much, we have more, much, many more images and, and more references. So should we encourage uh, people to create local content? Is it something that we might be ashamed of because it might not be notable enough? Well, the answer is, Local content is red. Local content is red. If you look uh, at the top uh, 10 uh, most read uh, articles with more page views, we see that in the English Wikipedia there are 8 out of 10. Um, in the Africans, 7 out of 10. This tends to be the rule. And uh, even if we take uh, a larger um, selection of uh, most read articles, the first 100, the first 500, the first 1,000, uh, local content it still has a high percentage. It has a higher percentage than the number of uh, CCCR, the, than the percentage of uh, local content in, in that language. So uh, we could say from this that it's quite a guarantee that local content uh, is going to be read. Um, first, when I was analyzing local content, I thought that at one point it would stop being created. Um, we would, we would get to a point in which local content is created, it's, it's over, we have the geolocated articles, we have the main historical figures, and then there is no need to create more articles on, on themselves. But this is not really the case. The case is that local content is created on a monthly basis on the, at the same rate of the percentage of local content in the encyclopedia. Here on the left we have a graph uh, in which we, we, we see for the Catalan Wikipedia uh, the number of articles in local content created by year. We see that 2010 was a, an important year, but still 2014, 2013, 12, it's still being created. And on the right, we see the same uh, graph uh, aggregated by number of page views. So if uh, only those uh, first articles on the geolocated places and pe uh, most relevant people uh, uh, were seen, uh, the 2010 and 2007 would be really big, but it's not the case. Still, 2015 and 2016, it's uh, still very big. So, in a way, we can say that the readership of, uh, of uh, local content explains that Wikipedia uh, has the role of illuminating uh, people's needs on their area. So it's a, a tool to contextualize the news, it's a tool to contextualize the, the activity, the daily activity, the daily life activity, and, and for this it is uh, very important. So I said before that among the first uh, 40 Wikipedias, local content is a quarter. Well, I should say that this is the exception. Unfortunately, um, more than, uh, than 150 Wikipedias has a, a local content which only takes 3% of, of, uh, of their Wikipedia. And, and this either means that uh, they are creating a copy of a bigger Wikipedia with a Western uh, point of view, it means that maybe they do not have access to enough sources or they do not trust themselves, their, their worth, their, their, the value of, uh, of this material, of these traditions, of, uh, of, uh, of their important political figures. We have 92 Wikipedias that with not even 100 geolocated articles, with, uh, 150 with not even 100 um, uh, articles with uh, the name of the territory or the language in it, uh, and almost 200 without 100 men or 100 women from the, the places uh, where the language is spoken. This is really, really bad for a healthy Wikipedia that is uh, um, illuminating these needs of the, of the people living there. Um, so 
I, I work also on, on, let's say, um, a quite inverse, uh, with an inverse um, way of thinking. Uh, usually, the local content uh, best is best created by the language itself, by the language uh, of, of the Wikipedia. Well, let's, let's think it the other way around. Uh, we have 200 Wikipedias of languages which coexist with other languages in the same territory, um, either because colonization or immigration, uh, but they have another, they, they, they do speak other languages of higher status, higher social status, higher in education, business, etc. Uh, this is perhaps uh, one, one, one case is the Uganda one. Uh, in Uganda they speak English besides uh, Luganda language and they have a Wikipedia with thousand articles. Thousand articles but just three percent of articles uh, on their local content. This is really small. Um, and so what we can see is that, uh, for instance, the, um, the president of, of Uganda exists in English Wikipedia, uh, but um, it doesn't exist in, in Luganda Wikipedia. This is really wrong for, for a healthy Wikipedia. So they are missing geography, traditions, politicians, and they do not get to this, uh, this uh, sense of normality that every Wikipedia should have. For this, I created a simple interface. It was. Uh, few days before the, the conference, in which you can select uh, the target language, in this case Zulu, uh, the missing articles, you can select a particular topic of the, inside the local content, whether it's men, women, monuments, uh, different segments or topics, and then you can select the origin language, the source language, and uh, the feature uh, by which you want to sort these results. So here, for instance, we see uh, for Zulu language, uh, articles that exist in, in, uh, in other languages, and we see Italian, German, uh, Dutch, Africans, uh, but do not exist in, in, in Zulu, sorted by number of in-links. And we see that um, some of them, they are quite popular mainstream, but, but others are, are quite interesting because they talk about universities uh, and, uh, and relevant places. So I think that new Wikipedia should not start by creating uh, the uh, standard uh, view of a Wikipedia, of, a, of uh, an encyclopedia with, with uh, mainstream, uh, mainstream topics, they shouldn't create Julius Caesar if they are Julius Caesar if they are not in Europe, for instance. And instead, they should uh, start creating what is relevant for for the for the neighbors and uh, and for people uh, who are going to use uh, this Wikipedia. We should encourage them not to build another Wikipedia, but to create their specific knowledge, actually this knowledge that at the same time might get lost uh, if they do not uh, contribute it. So I, I think that, um, and we are quite aware of this, that uh, part of the success of Wikipedia has been that it has been, uh, uh, their articles have been positioned in, in Google uh, and in other browsers, uh, in others, uh, search engines very well, and, and so I, I think that we should uh, try to create a, a virtuous circle by creating local content, which is uh, uh, which will achieve a better positioning, get more page views, and increase the number of uh, of uh, readers, the number of editors, uh, and so uh, the Wikipedia will get to a, a better stage and a, and a sense of a, a healthy community and for uh, these languages editions. So thank you very much. If you have any question, I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you yeah. so much, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Chris. And thank you, Beth Love. And thank you, everyone, for being here. We will be taking a short break, and we'll be yeah. reconnecting back in 30 minutes. Uh, we, are, we, uh, we, are, we will be there in Symboska room. And upcoming next are how to apply rapid grants for awareness campaigns and how different projects were formed by different